Hey gang, I know I've been ignoring you lately. It's been pretty busy for me. And by busy, I mean uh, sleeping in until like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and playing a lot of video games and doing push-ups and stuff. So anyway, I'm back. I'm over at the girlfriend's place. This is a really nice apartment. I'll give you guys a tour sometime. Probably to show you the toilet, mostly. Right? Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd come back to a general rant. Just, uh, I was making a list of things that irritate me, because I had a rant on all these little things like, that weren't good enough to do a full rant, so I thought I'd make a list of them and just... <sighs> Here we go. First one is on skinny jeans, because uh, I hate fashion trends that, like, something's big right now, so everyone wears it, and then, you know, like, three months from now, no one will wear it. I hate little hot fashion trends like that. The skinny jeans irritate me the worst. You usually see... When I think of skinny jeans, I think of the guys in the 80s who are punks that have jeans that are fucking like... You couldn't fit an air molecule between the jeans and them. And that pisses me off. I think they look so gross. A lot of girls are wearing them. And they just... They're not form-fitted. Like, they do not flatter a girl at all. Like, they just... Well, no, but my girlfriend doesn't wear skinny jeans. But they're not, like, that fucking skin tightly. Hers look okay on her. I wouldn't even classify them as skinny jeans, really. But you know what I mean. You see these girls walking around. It looks like they're walking on breadsticks. And you can even see, like, the knee bones where they curve and everything. Oh. Whenever I see those knee bones, all I can think of is like people who are starving. Oof. Another thing is, uh, you know how they have all these fucking poker sites everywhere? Like, there's, you know, uh, PKR poker, and like all this other bullshit. Every time they have one of these little adverts for poker, they always have someone peeking at the cards, and it's always a pocket pair of aces. <gasps> so fucking silly. If you have a pocket pair of aces, you know what you usually end up with at the end of the fucking hand? You end up with a pair of aces, that's it, because you usually don't match it up with anything else. I could have a 5-6 and usually make something out of it. But I hate that. Like, ooh, ooh, you know, pair of pocket aces. Ooh, it's the best hand in poker. Ooh, it usually doesn't do anything for me. You have to push hard when you get pocket aces, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. <laughs> means fuck all. I mean, it, it's pure luck, so by you peeking at a pair of pocket aces, it's just luck. Oh, look, you're lucky. It's not like you're good, you know? <laughs> anyway, it's just something that irritates me. We name everything. Here's another thing that fucking irritates me. If... You order spaghetti, and you want it, you know, al dente. Al dente means not as fucking cooked. You know what I mean? Like, is there a word for when it's overcooked, when it's, like, really noodly? I would just call it too fucking cooked, or not fucking cooked enough, right? We have to name everything. I don't know why. It's like, humans, we, we, we name everything to have a, you have power over it if you can give it a name, right? It's, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> One thing that I've done a rant on before was big companies, and I hate how greedy and fucking cancer-like they are, because they just, they leech, you know, they just suck all this money out, and they give nothing, they, they, they basically bottom line it, I call it bottom line money, where, for example, a movie, I mean, when you're poning up the money to make a movie, there's no guarantee you're going to get your money back, it is a big risk, except if you're like a big company, if you're like Warner Brothers, or if you're like Universal, or whatever, they got money. But, uh, I hate it when they, like, I didn't see the movie... What's that thing called? Step It Up? It's a dance movie or whatever? Okay, yeah. I hate movies like that. Dance movies, I mean, they did one that was successful, and then there's over the years there's been many. Like, I mean, just recently. I'm not talking about, like, Footloose or whatever. Anyway, now they're, like, bottom line dollar. If we make a sequel to Step It Up, we put in X number of dollars, we're guaranteed to get X number of revenue out, and that's all they look at. I mean, there are other people doing the casting and doing the lighting and doing the camera work to make sure the movie's not complete garbage, even though it probably is. But I hate that, because that's how the movies always get started, is always the bottom line dollar, and I fucking hate that. Like, I understand it. companies, they're, they're basically small companies. It's basically little business ventures to make a movie. Because they know there's always people that are going to be bored on a Friday night, no matter when, no matter how shitty the movies are out there. There's probably people that go see a lot of movies that just would never, you know, they, they're just, what's playing tonight? Um, let's go see Step It Up, too. And it's like, okay. And they just go and watch it, and they probably like it, because, you know, they have no taste or whatever. I'm not saying if you like the movie, you have no taste, but odds are, if you see the movie and you like it, you... She likes it. She has no taste. I didn't like Step It Up or Step It Up, too. I'm just joking. Anyway, uh, I'm always I'm, I'm always pushing her buttons, and then she hits me. <laughs> Jeez. She's a feisty one, especially in the bedroom. Anyway, uh... Thanks for telling the entire YouTube creator. Oh, how did, I, how did I know I'm not joking? My God. She almost hit me with a burning hot spatula. Anyway, <laughs> get back to my rants. Um, you always see, uh... There's all these little adverts for, um... These little RPGs, right? These little you know, click here and play this free online RPG and all this other shit. And basically, this always happens in every type of 
medieval setting for a game or whatever, there's always, you know, the guy with the big badass armor, and then there's always girls with this armor that's actually sculpted like a brassiere, and it has, like, these fucking... Oh, fries are almost ready. They have these, like, pillowing breasts just spilling out everywhere. You, you realize if you're a woman warrior, you're not going to dress that way. It's not functional. Like, it's not a fashion contest. It's war. So every time I see something like that, it fucking pisses me off. It's not functional at all. Oh, is the fire detector going to go off? It's going to, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, there might be a loud noise in a minute because the fire thing... She's just burning up a little supper. <laughs> Every time we use the oven, it... Every time... Oh, no. Every time we use the oven, it sets off the alarm. I'm not really sure why. Anyway, uh... The other one was... Perfect example is... Shows like Alias. Dark Angel. Uh... Serenity, it's a movie. I never watched Firefly, so I don't know, but I'm so fucking sick of it. It's a trend that come out where you have your girl who's like a, an assassin who beats up like 1,500 guys. I'm so fucking sick of these because you realize, I've done a rant on this before, how guys naturally have a big advantage because we have a lot of fucking upper body strength. You're, you're hard-pressed to find a girl who can hold her own even with average guys. And I'm, I'm just talking about guys that are just, just have the natural strength advantage and don't even know how to fight. But you have these girls that are out there fucking throwing around like 350 pound bodybuilders, and this happens all, especially in anime. Anime is really bad for that for some reason. They just, they love their little female ass kicking. Yeah, it's hot and everything, but come on, it's not reality. I mean, how many girls do you know that can do shit like this? And there are girls who are tanks. I mean, I had my ass handed to me when with by a, a girl I used to hang out with. She used to just pin me down, and I couldn't get up, and I got so mad at her because I was a string bean, and she was just fucking built like a brick shit house, so she could toss me around or whatever, but. I mean, if I came down to fighting, I could, I could, Jen, I could kick your ass. You know, I'd punch you. If I was allowed to punch you in the mouth, then I would have won. But anyway, I'm just, I'm so sick of these storylines, and it just keeps happening over, and it's becoming more and more popular. It's like, come on. Uh, what, what else have I been ranting about lately, Turkey? This is just one of those kind of like loose, free flowing, because lately, like I said, my ADD has been off the fucking charts, and I think it's because of spring. Because halfway through February, I woke up and my lymph nodes were all unswollen. My throat felt really clear. And that was my sign that spring is coming. Two weeks into February. And then we had this really shitty cold, cold, cold weather. So logically, you'd think, well, okay, winter's still on. But I knew it wasn't. I knew it was on its last leg. And today, the last couple of days, I've been ADD like mad. And today was really bad because it's so nice and warm out. I'm in Moncton, New Brunswick, and it's nice and warm right now. Um, I don't always make her make supper, by the way. I actually offer to make supper a lot. No, I do make supper a lot, don't I? Yes, you do. Okay, because I don't want you guys to think that I'm the guy that's unemployed and playing video games all day, and she's cooking all day and doing the laundry and giving me head. <laughs> that's not what it's like at all. I mean, come on. You know, I hit her once in a while, too. Oh, snap, but she hits me more. Oh, crap, here she comes. Ooh. Anyway, I always make videos to make people laugh and, you know, make people think a bit, so... I always come up with funny stuff while we're just on the fly, so that's why, you know, I'm, I'm having a little bit of fun. I'm going to do some more videos. Uh, I got, I just finished Devil May Cry for Condemned 2 is fucking amazing, and now I'm playing Mass Effect, and I'm going to do fucking little blurbs and all them. I'm trying to think, there's some other things, though, that I'm trying to fill up my 10 minutes, so uh, I'm trying to think of some other things that irritate me. Because I've been going on a fucking ear, I've been irritated at everything lately, like new music especially, like that Hey There Delilah song. Ah! fucking hate it. So whiny and I like the chorus, but I hate any any song automatically gets fucking discredited if they rhyme city and pretty. If you're not in the eighties, that shit doesn't fly anymore. I mean that's just lazy fucking songwriting. And the guy's voice is very whiny. Uh Grey's Anatomy pisses me off as you guys know. I hate that show. Oh I'm gonna do one on house too. Because the the show house No it's it well I call I always call all my things rants, but no house is probably the best show on TV that's been around for probably years. It is a very good show. I'm going to do a little little blurb on that, too. So right now, we'll call this one quits, and maybe I'll have a little bit of supper. We're having hot dogs and poutine. Oh, it's going to be fucking good. It's going to be like... Oh, 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 oh. I'll have what I'm having.